back, and then he floats back in as Razo uh, as Cyro tries to go back to stage, and like for for the next five seconds, it's Cyro trying to swing at Razo, but Razo just being too good at, at just out maneuvering his opponents with his upkey. <laughs> That's the thing you have to count against Peach and Daisy, right? It's the movement back. Sometimes they have more of the read on you than you have the read on them. But, and after those two characters, we're going to see a Star Fox down here. The wingman versus the frontman of Star Wolf. It's going to be Wolf versus Falcon. We'll see what Daisy can do against Kanan and Bruce. They started off pretty early against Wolf. One of the things. Pretty much 15% right off the bat. Yeah, and one of the things you have to accept when you're fighting against Falco is that you're going to get blown up at low percents. Falco is really explosive at low percents, able to get you to decently, uh, decently mid to high percentage just off of a few hits. Wolf, not too far in that fact either. Uh, one of the, uh, I think the strongest of the, uh, the hardest hitting of the three. He's, yeah. he's the most brawler type of the three. All right, Wolf Flash to ledge. Okay, k taking his time to pick the right opportunity to come back on the stage. I want to give away his options a little bit too early. And I like the fact that he tried to go for the blast, but he has to also respect the Falco reflection. Yeah, and Days is just on that blast as he sees it come out, and his reflect. Oh Ooh, my god, not the best of DI gonna catch him there. Yeah, uh, Days has some good reactions on the blast with his own reflector. Okay, gets a four throw. Karen looking for a possible edge guard here. I like that he keeps him setting himself at a certain spot of the stage so he can make sure he gets the proper edge guard. He will get to read the jump get up, the roll get up, or even the get up attack. Yeah, especially uh, when you're working with uh, some big disjoints, especially on a powerful character like Wolf, knowing the perfect distance you have to be is very crucial. And Kanai is has been showing that he knows the spacing, but he hasn't been executing just yet. Yeah. There Four we go. Total, Ooh, he all, the days actually almost lived too. Alright, short hop down there, just gonna hit that shield. Nice down throw into dash attack. That is a true combo at, uh, I don't know how long of a percentage, but I heard it was a big window. Yeah, it's, it's typically around to about 80% roughly. Why? So you know, you just keep doing that. It's, <laughs> he's gonna have some combos. Great down throw, really got to the cover here, and I like the fact that he went for another one trying to set up a two frame. Gets the punish there on the get up there with a good grab. That's what I'm talking about. Ah! He sets himself so well to get the punishes. I f it looks like Days is getting a uh, much more flustered here. He's trying. It, it seems like the lead got to his head here. Yeah. But now it looks like he's he's resetting neutral here and went a little bit antsy with his read. But he has K9 back off stage. He's he's still not setting up ledges uh, ledge trapping here. I wonder what Days is trying to set up here with uh with just these up. Oh, oh. That, that's it. I mean, he caught K9 trying to land the same spot more than once. So at that situation, you know, Days pretty much had the read on, hey, if you're gonna land here more than once, fine. Let me get the punish at least a second time around. Yeah, I actually want to see, like, especially K9's spacing, I want to see him use a uh, uh, four tilt like, like he just did. Yeah. A little bit more to catch Days on, on his recovery because he's been trying to mix up the timing between uh, Falco, Phantasm, and Firebird. Yeah. Okay, going for the boss for a little bit of safe measure, but you gotta watch out for that landing forward. It's gonna still have some extra hitbox on the landing. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit weird to try and punish Falco's oh, landing no. hitboxes. I like the fact that Days kind of anticipated the nair from Wolf. A lot of Wolves like to go from there. So if you're able to punish the nair, you can start effectively picking apart Wolf little by little. Because Wolves love to go for now. We've been seeing K9 go for that a lot of times. Set someone up the lead for a down smash. Not gonna yeah. Get by it from days. If you're able to get rid of Nair and Fair effectively, they can't really do anything because now they have to rely on Bear. If Bear is not really too good of a of a combo. Oh, that would have been a punish Ooh. there. If K9 had just hold, held shield there, it definitely would have been the stock. The one, thing, the one thing that I like from Days is when he sees the spacing, he's looking for the punish from after K9. He wants yeah. the win punish. K9 comes in with a dash attack, he's going to put it on for a shield down. They have a risky fuck illusion there. Alright, back air not going to come out in time. Just whiffing as it hits the floor. More throw. No problem roll. I respect it. Go for percent. Gets the air guard face here and he gets oh. the air in the nick of time. K9 clutching out that game with FaZe doing an excellent job overall. Gonna get the dragon oh, hit just, just in time. Wolf. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he says it, dude. He says you're good, but I'm better. That's literally what the situation was. I'm telling was. you, dude. Like, he's, he's just like, hey, man, like, I knew what you were doing. Like, I'm... I, I, I'm just Faze, using a percentage of my power. Faze was doing really good because he had K9 on the landings. Yeah. You, you talked about how K9 is doing really good with combos. 
and that situation and, and all great shopping. and let's shopping but what it comes down to is your landing when you get punished and you have, and you have a good punish game it really hurts yeah and that's what days has been doing just punishing canine and landing punishing canine for throwing out blasters in neutral that's how he's been getting a lot of his percentage of cross uh, and stocks all right just going with the safe damage just going to go with one up you're not going to pop for a fair right after which is just bad Air down. Wow, okay. Didn't know okay, that I thing. like it. Missed the grab though. Could have been possible whip punish there. Yeah, and it's it's harder going for pivot grabs now, especially since you can't go past your opponent. Good Nair. K9 looking for the spacing. I like it. That's what he's looking for right here in this neutral. Looking for whip punishes. What's Falco gonna do when he comes to me? He's been paying attention to how the back has been playing. Comes in with Falco illusion pretty hot. Comes in with fair. Comes in with new comes in with possible new chair. Yeah, and K9, K9 has been striking him out. He knows that Days wants to hit him. He knows that Days wants to be aggressive. Yeah. And he's been taking advantage of that. He's been saying, what if I just back up and just force you to throw out an option and I'll just whip punish? Okay. And just right there, another aggressive option. K9 not able to punish it just yet. They're getting a fair trade started. Oh, doesn't even get the tech chase on the platform. Would have been super crucial for K9. Ooh, wow. Up throw, fair. Wasn't sure if that was the Oh, nice. Right now, now it seems like it. There's the spacing gonna get from K9. When Day sees the spacing, if he's paying, if she be rewatches his spot, and I hope he does, he needs to understand. If K9 starts to space himself, he needs to understand. If I yes. come in, he has me red. He already knows what I'm going to do. My space. He knows when to go for the vision. So I need to pick a different landing option. Oh hey. my god! That's the problem. Day's been coming out with the, with that Falcon illusion, and K9's been so keen to be aware of that. Missing the up smash from Day's though. All right, gonna go with an up throw fair. Not gonna be able to get anything else. Daze has him on the ledge here. Going for a roll read, but oh. that fair not gonna take it just yet. Wolf flash gonna be enough to get back. All right, K9 oh, setting like up it. shot. He gets two nares there, but he immediately backs off to see what Daze's opportunity is gonna be there. All right, throwing out two, uh, three F tilts in a row there. We're trying to make sure that Daze doesn't get to approach him safely from the ground. Yeah, not only that, it also stops Daze from trying to come in with a collision, but Daze with a fate and a weight gets the up air and that's the down air. That's K9. Yep. yep. Uh, Wolf Flash pretty good, but it doesn't auto snap the ledge. You can definitely call it out. Gotta be careful when you space yourself against Wolf Flash though, because if you do get hit by the three spot, it'll definitely deal some damage to you. Oh, that was interesting. K9 actually just opted to let Daze go back to ledge, just did not try to punish the Firebird below him. K9 gonna go with another Nair, setting up a back air. Ooh, draws into a fair. At that situation, he probably didn't have to go off stage. Day's still pretty much in disadvantage, even though he's on the ledge. It's K9's head card, so Gaster still respect that. A couple operators. Day's making a solid comeback here with a percent. Oh, give me another. Oh, Day's trying to strike out K9's landing. Not able to get it, but he has oh, I, a I hefty him. percentage on him. Yeah, I, I, I respect the, the up smash too, but no! There it is. Not going to be able to get the slide angle to the ledge and gets clipped by the floor.